Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk through this uh, lead code number 937. We ordered data in log files. So this question was asked by uh, Amazon almost 80 times uh, in the past six months. So if you are going for a Amazon interview uh, soon, uh, so don't skip this video. So um, we are giving a, uh, a logs. So it basically does a list. Right, so um, for example, we have the first log, second log, third log, fourth one, and then the fifth one. So the breakdown of the logs is the first uh, is separated by the first space. Uh, so anything before the first space, this is a ID, and uh, anything before that space is a is the log itself. So for example. Uh, for another example, for this guy over here, uh, the ID is the dig one, and then the content of the log is uh, that those digits. Uh, for the second log, uh, the ID is leg one, and uh, the that the log itself is uh, arc, art, can. So as you can see, we have the two types of logs, and one is a log, uh, letter letter logs, uh, which is this, which is this guy over here. Um, is only consists of letters. Uh, this guy only uh, consists of letters. Also, with the digit logs, and uh, it only consists of uh, digits and numbers. And um, and the rule is uh, we need to reorder uh, the the logs so that uh, the letter logs comes first, and uh, at the same time, uh, the letter logs are sorted in uh, lexical graphical. Uh, by the content, and then if their content are the same, uh, we will sort them um, by their lexicographically by their uh, IDs. So um, also uh, the digit logs just uh, stay where they are, maintain their relative ordering. So we don't have to do much of an ordering. Uh, we we ordering for uh, the digit logs, so that will be a little easier. So it looks very, um, well, kind of complex, is, um, but let, let, let's peel it off uh, one layer by layer, uh, and then we can implement it in the code, okay? And um, uh, before doing that, let's take a look at the output, the required output. So as you can see, uh, all the letter logs comes before the number, the digit logs, and that's exactly the first requirement. And um, and then it's sorted by uh, the icon, the actual lock, in the lexicographical order. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's uh, let's formulate uh, this requirement to code. Okay. And I'm thinking of using a, um, a Python. So basically, so basically, we have uh, three requirements, and we can um, do them in three keys, and we can bundle the keys in uh, tuples. And the first key will be the most important one, and then if, and then we sort it. The second, um, the second most important key will be in the second uh, element in the tuple, and the last key will be the least important. Um, so let's see how can we do that. Um, so let's look at the, uh, the, the return statement in here. So we need to, uh, sort it, the logs. And then the key will be, um, will be, uh, we have a three sorted keys and uh, we will have a function that, um, define the keys for us, right? So, uh, the first, uh, and that will be a, a, a tuple that consists of three elements. Okay, and um, for the first guy, uh, if there's a letter lock, if there's a letter lock, we will assign a number of zero, and if a digit lock, we will assign a number of one. So how can we know this is a letter or it's a digit? So we look at the first element of the lock, right? If the first element is a number, that means it's, this is a digit lock. If the first character in the lock is a uh, alphabet, there will be a um, letter lock. 
So as you can see, the uh, first thing first will be we have to split, uh, split the given log by the first uh, the empty space, and then the maximum that we are splitting is only one. The max split is one, so we only split it as uh, two parts. So basically, for example, uh, this guy over here, uh, we grab the first empty space and then split it into two parts. Okay, the first part will be ID, and the second part is the actual lock. And if the first element, that is an alphabet, that's a letter, that means it's a letter lock, and then we assign zero in the first element in, into the tuple. Otherwise, that means it's a uh, digit lock, and then we will assign one. So that's why it's, when we sort it in this one in uh, ascending order, and uh, the Letter log will always comes first, and then we sort it by the, and then the second requirement here we will sort it by the content, and then we put the push the content to the second element, and the third element if the content are the same we will sort it by the ID, and then we push the ID to be the third identifier, and uh, at the same time uh, for the digit lot we we don't care about their content also they, we don't care about their ID. What we what we only care is about maintaining their relative ordering, and so thanks to the stability of the sorting algorithm, the element within the same key value will remain the same order as in the original input. Therefore, the rule number three is automatically enforced. That's why we just put a none and none to the two spots in the tuple, and then we sort it. Uh, and then uh, so basically, this function will return a tuple that consists of. Um, these three elements and um, ordered by the most important key, second most important B, and this is the least important key. And then we sort it based on that. Let's run it. So, as you can see, it's pretty efficient. Um, yeah, so this is so much for the solution. And the, for the time complete, it's a uh, big O of M times uh, N log N. So, N is the number of locks in the list. So that makes sense because it's sorting, right? And when we, are, when we import this sorting algorithm, uh, that takes a, a lock N of N times. And also uh, M is being the maximum uh, length of a single lock. So in the worst case scenario, imagine that if all the locks are the same, yeah, um, and then we have to compare them, each one of them to see if they are the same or not. And, and the comparison takes a bit of m time, right? So that will, that will be in the worst case scenario. So, uh, as you can see in here, since the log, uh, the keys of element are basically the logs itself, the comparison between, uh, two keys would take up, uh, bit of m time. Yeah. I, again, and then that comes from here. So, because when, uh, it is one requirement here, right? So if the content are the same, we have to sort it by the, ID. So how can we know that they are the same? We do the com some comparison, and that takes up a uh, bit of m time. So for uh, space complexity, b of m times n. So n makes sense, right? Because we have a uh, total number of logs in the in the list. For m, so that will be in the worst case scenario. So uh, if each of the log is takes up the maximum length, so each one has the same length. And uh, in total, uh, the space will be uh, big M times big N, okay? Because that what I said, every single uh, log has the same length. And also uh, the sorting itself takes up some, some space. So the worst space complexity for the team sort is big O of N. Uh, and also, we need that much space to hold the intermediate uh, value for the shorting. So it's a big O of 2m times n. That's uh, the constant's job. So it's big O of m times n. Um, yeah, so that's so much for the analysis. I hope this is helpful. If it does, please like this video and consider subscribe to the channel. There will be a huge support. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Thank you, thank you.